All right, go ahead, jog it out on the spot. same three for 40. First exercise we're going to do is a side lunge and curtsy lunge combo. So you just need one dumbbell and you're going to step out side lunge and then you're going to push off and go into that curtsy lunge. Okay, so side lunge into the curtsy lunge. We do one minute on the one side, one minute on the other side. All right, ready, set, and go for it. So step out side lunge and then wrap around, curtsy lunge. So side lunge, curtsy lunge, and we're going one minute. Looking good, looking good. Step out all the way wide for your side lunge, and then wrap around all the way around and get down, all the way down for those curtsy lunges. Ten seconds now. Ten seconds left on this side. Keep going. A couple more. Maybe just one more full rep now. All right, that's good. Now we're gonna go right to the other side. Ready, set, and go for it. Other side, side lunge and curtsy lunge combo. Take your time in getting those side lunges. Get all the way wide, as wide as you can, really feel it. 30 seconds to go. 30 and 30 to go. Last 10 seconds. Two more, maybe three more of these. All right, that's good. Now the next one, you don't need any weight. You're gonna go down on the ground, single leg hip thrust. So one leg in the air, other foot on the ground, push, and then come up. Push your heel into the ground, hips up, and then come back down. We'll do 30 seconds on each side. Ready, set, and go for it. So push that heel into the ground, and thrust your hips up, 
We'll do one leg. If you can't handle one leg, you can do both legs at the same time if you need to. Second on this other leg, the second leg. Should feel this mostly in the hamstrings, the back of your legs, a little bit of glutes as well. Last 10 seconds. Three more of these, three more good ones at least. Two, one, all right, that's good. 30 second break, and we'll go back into that side lunge, curtsy lunge combo. All right, so 10 seconds, we're gonna go back into the side lunge, curtsy lunge, back to your first leg. Ready, set, and Go for it. So step out to the side and then wrap it around and get down. Side lunge, curtsy lunge. So this one's 50 seconds. 50 seconds on each leg. Make sure you're getting out wide enough on those side lunges. You really want to feel mostly in the inner thighs. Now 10 seconds. See if you can do three more of these. Three more full reps. All right. All right, now we're going to go to the other side. Ready, set, and go for it. Other side. Finish it off, 10 seconds. Two, one, all right. Now back down on the ground, single leg hip thrust. We'll go 25 seconds on each leg. All right, ready, set, and go for it. So single leg hip thrust, push that heel into the ground, wash your hips up. Switch legs, switch legs, and keep it going. Last 10 seconds for this one. Then you can have a 30 second break. Two more of these, two more. All right, that's good. 30 second break, and we'll do all that one more time. 40 second intervals. Side lunge, curtsy lunge, one more time. Back to your first leg. Ready, set, and go for it. Side lunge, into the curtsy lunge. Good 
job, good job, ladies, looking good. We got 10 seconds now, 10 seconds left on this leg, on this side. All right, good, now we're gonna go to the other side. Ready, set, and go for it, other side. seconds on each side. Ready, set, and go for it. All right, switch sides, other side, and go for it. Last 20 seconds. Last 10 now, 10 seconds, then we're done with this. All right, good, take your water break. And so I'll show you the first one. In the next round, we're gonna do bent over flies. So bent over flies, this, this one. So push your hips back and fly those dumbbells backward. Also, you can do it with the band instead if you have a band and you want to stand up and just do the band pull apart. Okay, so either one of those. We'll start with that one. I'll just show you the next next two when we get to them. All right, so bent over flies or band pull aparts. Ready, set, and go for it. So bent over fly, or if you have that band, give it a pull apart. Good, good. The bent over flies, you can hold it neutral grip. Or if you want, you can hold an overhand grip and work slightly different. That's 30 seconds. 30 in, 30 to go. So bent over flies, or if you have a band, the band pull apart. <laughs> 15 seconds for this one. 15 seconds. Looking good. Dumbbells going, the band going. Two, one, all right, good. Next one we're gonna do static bicep curl. So regular static bicep curl. So one arm here at 90 degrees holding the dumbbell and then the other arm curling. Five curls and then this one will stop and this one will curl for five more. All right, so switch every five curls. Ready, set, and go for it. So one arm holds, other arm curls, five, and then the other arm stops, the other arm curls for five. Every five switch, make sure your elbow is off your body so it's not on your body. So you keep the tension on the bicep when you're holding that dumbbell. Don't let it rest. Just past halfway, less than 30 seconds now. Bicep should be on fire already. Now the last head, last head. Keep curling and keep holding. Light them up the best you can. 
two, one. All right, now, the next one, you just need one dumbbell. We're gonna do goblet squats, one and a half rep goblet squats. So you're gonna cup the, gu the dumbbell like this, fairly wide stance, and then you're gonna come down all the way, halfway up, back down, and then all the way up. So all the way down, halfway up, back down, all the way up. One and a half rep, goblet squat. Ready, set, and go for it. Keep that dumbbell tight to your chest. Come all the way down, then just halfway up, back down, and then pop it up. And try not to lock out your knees at the top. Keep them soft just before you lock out your knees. Protect your knees. seconds. Looking good. All the way down, halfway up, back down, and all the way back up. Last 10 now. 10 seconds. All right, good. 30 second break, 30 second break, and we'll go back into the reverse flies, back flies. All right, so grab your dumbbells or your band, bent over flies or a band pull apart, 50 seconds, ready, set, and go for it. So bent over flies, or get that band and pull that band apart, band pull apart. That's 25, that's halfway. Just keep going, pull those dumbbells apart, pull that band apart. Last 10 seconds for this one. All right, good, good, done with that one. And now static bicep curls for 50 seconds. All right, grab your dumbbells, ready, set, and go for it. So static bicep curls. Remember, one arm holds, other arm curls. Switch every five curls. Switch arms. Got 15 seconds. 15 seconds left. Keep, keep going. 10 seconds. Fight that burn all the way to the end. Two, one. All right, good. And now the goblet squat. One and a half rep goblet squats. Remember to keep that dumbbell close to your body. Fairly wide stance. Ready, set, and go for it. All the way down. Halfway up, back down, and all the way back up. Try to get those elbows to your thighs, to your knees. Should be all warmed up now. Legs should be warmed up. Hips should be warmed up. Should be able to get down there. That's halfway, 25. Keep going, looking good. Remember, when you stop at the top, just stop before you lock out your knees so it's nice and soft. And protect your knees. Last 10 seconds. Two more full reps, at least two more. Two, one, all right, good. 30 second break, and we'll do those one more time, starting with the back flies or the band 
fall apart. All right, so 10 seconds, we're gonna go. So it's a bent over fly. You can hold neutral grip or overhand grip for that one. And then the band, if you have a band, you can go just pull it apart. Ready, set, and go for it. So really fly, it's like a reverse bear hug. Job. You should feel this in your rear delts, the back of your shoulders, and your upper back. A little bit of traps. Last 10 seconds. 10 seconds for this. Two, one. All right, now the static bicep curls. Grab your two dumbbells if you don't already have them. Ready, set, and go for it. Hold that one arm, curl with the other, switch every five curls. You got this, you can do it. Fight that burn all the way through. Keep curling, keep holding. Last 10. Two, one, all right, now the goblet squat. Last one in this series, this set. Ready, set, and go for it. Keep that dumbbell close to your body. One and a half reps, all the way down, halfway up, back down. And then all the way back up. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds left for these goblet squats. One more, one more full rip, and then we're done with this set. All right, that's good. Okay, take your water break. All right, so the next round, we're gonna start with an upright row overhead press combo. So the upright row, you're gonna start with the dumbbells down here. You're gonna bring them up just under your chin. And then you're gonna flip them like this, go overhead, back down, flip them, and down. So bring them up under your chin, flip your wrists, push them overhead, come down here 90 degrees, and then flip your wrists down and bring the dumbbells back down. All right, so upright row, overhead, press combo for one minute. Ready, set, and go for it. So bring them up under your chin, Flip your wrists, push them overhead, back down, flip your wrists again, and bring them all the way down. Just nice and slow, don't rush through. You wanna make sure you're leaning with your elbows on that upright row, so your, the dumbbells come under your chin and your elbows finish a little bit higher than your chin, about shoulder height and then flip those wrists and push the dumbbells overhead. This one's pretty tough, you should feel it in your shoulders quite a bit. Last 10 seconds, last 10. All right, good. Now we're just gonna do regular bicep curls, alternating arms. So just curl with the one, then switch, just like that. Alternating arm, bicep curls. Ready, set, and go for it. So curl it up, squeeze it, then come down. 
Curl it up, squeeze it, then down. Just take your time, really feel the squeeze at the top, every rip. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds ago. Good. Looking good on screen. Big squeeze at the top, and then all the way down, and then switch arms. Last ten. Last ten. Two more on each arm. See if you can do it. All right, that's good. Next round, you don't need any weights. We're gonna do V-ups or leg raises if you can't do V-ups. So the V-up, you're just gonna come up like that and then back down, up and down. If you can't do those, then leg raise and add a hip thrust. Leg raise and hip thrust. All right, so either one, ready, set, and go for it. So V-up or leg raises. Or a little bit of both. If you get tired of the V-ups and just go right into the leg raises. Keep it going with the leg raises. Good. Either way, try not to let your legs hit the ground, especially if you're just doing the leg raises. Try to go down slow and stop before they hit the ground. Last 10 seconds. 10 seconds left, three more reps. All right, good. 30 second break. Then we'll go back to that first one, the upright row, overhead press combo. seconds upright row overhead press combo ready set and go for it so bring them up just under your chin flip your wrist and then up overhead if you don't like the combo if it doesn't feel right for you then you just pick one of those exercises either just continue with the upright rows or just go overhead if you want to do that you can do that otherwise just do the combo That's 25, that's halfway already. Looking good. Got the flow down. Ten seconds. Three more of these. See if you can do three more in the last ten. Maybe just two. Alright, good. Done with that one. Now we're gonna do the bicep curls, alternating arm bicep curls. All right, ready, set, and go for it. So one arm curls, come down, other arm curls, alternate arms and squeeze, give it a big squeeze every time at the top. tight, nice and tight, so you have a stable base and so you're not rocking and using momentum to get that dumbbell up, especially toward the end when you get tired. Last 10 seconds, two more each arm. All right, that's good. Now back down on the ground, V-ups or leg raises, whichever one you prefer. All right, ready, set, and go for it. V-ups or leg raises. 
or a little bit of both. You can start with the V-ups. When you can't do those any longer, just continue on with the leg raises. Last 10 now, just 10 seconds left. Keep going, light those abs up, keep it going. Two more reps, two more. All right, good. 30 second break, and we'll go through that one more time, and then we're all done. All three of those, once more, and we're all done. Alright, so 10 seconds, we'll go through it again. Upright row into overhead press combo. And if you don't like the combo, remember you can pick either one of those exercises and do those separately. Ready, set, and go for it. So upright row, turn them up, push them up. Back down, turn them down, bring it down. Twenty, twenty now. Twenty done. Twenty to go. Keep going. Fight that pain in the shoulders. Weight should be getting a little bit heavier with every rep. Ten seconds now. Two more of these. All right, that's good for that one. And now the bicep curls, alternating arms, big squeeze at the top with every rep. Ready, set, and. Go for it. Curl it up, squeeze it, back down, all the way down, and then the other one up. Squeeze, get that squeeze every time. Twenty seconds left. Now twenty seconds for these, and then we'll finish with the abs. Last 10 now, last 10. All right, done with those. Now back on the ground, V-ups or leg raises. Last 40 seconds and then we're all done. Then we can stretch it out. All right, so V-ups or leg raises for 40. Ready, set, go for it, 40 seconds. Last 20, 20 done, 20 left. Okay, okay. Last 10, see if you can do at least three more, whichever version you're doing, three more should be good. At least. All right, that's good, all done, all set. 